soul travelers out there, how are you? It is Priestess Melissa. We're here to do your weekly reading, which is going to be a new moon reading, as it were. We're going to be getting a main message and affirmation from the Priestess of the Light Oracle cards. We'll then tap into the Moonology Manifestation cards and look at the current as well as the next three weeks of energy and see what's going on for you. My dear Virgos, we have on the cut here with the Light Seers Tarot, Four of Pentacles, and Empress. So Empress is holding back right now, perhaps saving your pennies or holding back your energy from someone or something. Could be thinking a lot at this time, perhaps. Maybe putting a lot of thought into your money or your foundation or something that you are growing at this time. All right, now these are general readings, which may or may not resonate with everyone, Virgo. But if they do, in any way, thanks so much for hitting the like button. And let me know down in the comments how these messages are resonating with you. Also, watch these for your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. And if you need specific messages for you, reach out at venetianways.org. We will also get some advice messages from our Divine Doors message cards, as well as the Lover's Oracle for love advice moving forward. Soulmate energy there. Definitely want to find someone you could connect with, perhaps. Well, we will answer your question at the end with our divination coin. So if you have a burning question, stick around to the end for all the good stuff. Thank you so much to the angels, ancestors, way showers, and guides. We honor you for the messages for our beautiful Virgos. Virgo, shout out to you and thank you so very much for all of your support to the channel. I truly appreciate you and all of your likes, comments, shares, and donations. Let me know how, down in the comments section how these videos are resonating with you. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification so you don't miss any of the readings I put out. Ooh, I've got some cards a lot in the fallout on me today. How you guys been doing out there? I feel like your energy is a little bit all over the place a little bit here. My cards are being weird on me. Let's see what's going on for you, Virgo. What's up? We have loss and lack, fear and victimization. Courage, strength, fear, fierceness, and family. Wow. So somebody, it feels like, really hurt you today. Look at the look on her face with that loss and lack, right? You may feel like a victim, all right, to someone and trying to have courage, you know, to stand tall and be strong. Soul radiance and phoenix rising. Wow. So this is definitely something that has been pretty devastating is what this feels like quite honestly uh, virgo whatever it is this loss and lack it's definitely helped you to see a new perspective of things and maybe you've become even stronger 333 as a result all right more of a warrior is the energy that i feel you stepping into today with that phoenix rising energy wow you're definitely going to get that balance too as you focus on yourself and moving out of this loss, lack, fear, and victimization mode. All right. But let's look at this energy. 34 always makes me think of seven and the uh, seven of cups card. So this could be something around love today, potentially. The woman on this card stands alone, in anxious judgment of her life. She focuses on past losses and assumes there are more to come. With her fan of owl feathers, she attempts to shield herself from potential hurts. Yet the owl on her shoulder can see through her darkness and guide her out of her fear and lack consciousness. The message of this card is clear. No matter what loss you have experienced in the past, it is absolutely necessary to shift your focus now and to redefine your power. It's time to put the, put the pedal to the metal, put the car in drive, and to get out of there. You are no longer the victim of 
a threatening world, frightened and unable to direct your own destiny. In fact, since your consciousness creates your reality, this assumption only keeps your energy stuck. The owl encourages you to leave your victim mentality behind and to see the truth of your eternal courage and power. We all go through these tough times, is all I'm going to say, but we do always have the ability to rise out of it instead of staying in that stuck and stagnant, depressed energy. When loss comes up in your life, let yourself grieve, but do not define yourself by that experience. Be willing to take charge and set your sights on real solutions and new directions so you can rise like that Phoenix energy, right? When you take action and view your life with optimism and self-honoring intentions, you become the director of rather than the victim in your own life. Better to be the director, right? You definitely don't want to be a character. This empowered approach may seem strange to you and you may not fully trust yourself just yet. But this card is telling you that you can no longer live in darkness, isolation, and fear. It is time to let go of your old patterns and people-pleasing and passive acceptance of others' agendas. No longer living life on other people's terms, right? It is time to take your rightful place as a powerful presence in your world. So time to be that director in your world. Your affirmation, my dear Virgos. I let go of feelings of fear and lack. It is safe for me to stand up and make choices that empower me. All right, that is your affirmation for this week. No longer resting bitch face. Take your power back. See through your fear and have some tea with it. Why not? But your rising is what you're being asked to do out of this situation, out of this depression and isolation and all of that. Have the courage to do so. All right, be wild and allow yourself to express, you know, through your words and not saying towards people necessarily, but you can write it out, speak it out, allow yourself, even just with yourself to release all of this. All right, because you will feel so much better as a result. We always do when we allow ourselves to release these emotions and and speak and be heard even if it's just by ourselves you know what I mean that matters and it does release that tension what do we need to know about the current energies for Virgo take a reality check Capricorn energy very important to get grounded and really be real and honest about what is going on at this time for you all right Virgo could be dealing with a Capricorn. Again, be real. <laughs> I mean, it's being pretty clear. Take a reality check, be real. All right, you're no victim here. You haven't lost anything, you lack nothing. And there is nothing to fear. For week one, we have go deeper with the Scorpio energy. It's time to really let it let it burn, as Usher would say. Let it burn, get a little burn. Deep down you know it's best for yourself, but you hate the thought of a being with someone else, but you know that it's over. You know that it's true. <laughs> Can't sing. Let it burn. We'll let Usher sing it, but that may be a song that could be helpful for you today. Speak your world into being. It's time to let it go, whatever this is. Let it burn. All right, week two, what do we need to know? Usher, usher. <laughs> usher it out, <laughs> whatever it is. Week two, what do we need to know? Again, with the Be Real card coming out. All right? Gotta let your heart flow again. Gotta release those blockages. Again, let it burn, let it go. And again, speak your world into being. What is it you really want for your life now? How do you want your life to look? 
you know, outside of this dynamic, perhaps, you know, of whatever it is that you're having to let go of. Ooh, two cards. How interesting. All right, that is yours. Shine, new moon in Leo, beautiful energy, yeah, let the sun shine in, sunflowers, maybe buy yourself some sunflowers, or get a picture of sunflowers, I don't know, something about sunflowers is significant, maybe you like them, who knows, but it would help you to have a sunnier disposition, it feels, in week three, so it's time to shine, baby, Virgo, talk less and feel more. Get within that balanced energy at this time in that Pisces energy. And Aries, work through your feelings. Absolutely. It's time to get balanced out here and leave behind those negative emotions that have kept you stuck for so long, right? So let's take a reality check, perhaps about those karmic situations, all right, that we've had to deal with that have definitely tried our patience. We stood in the thick of it. Maybe you're thinking a lot about that at this time, all right? Or about a Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini energy. You want to be happy, all right? And learning our lessons can help us to move out of that place. Making peace with them can help us to feel happy about our lives again. Releasing, once again, all of this past energy Take a reality check. We have chariot energy coming out and king of wands. So it may be time to move forward and take back your power at this time. You know, that knowing that you do hold that power just like it was talking about. Not feeling like you have lost your power just because something didn't move forward, right? Yes, it may have felt very passionate. Yes, you may have felt like this was... Your everything, 1212, I just saw on the timer. And this is a six card. But something was in balance for sure. And there had to be an end put to it. This third party situation that was throwing the balance off. Go deeper. That is what we're needing to really deal with today. What is be real? What do we need to know about that? Be real about what's blocking you, what's blocking your heart and causing you to feel this disconnection within yourself, right? Because it's only causing you to not have that growth, to not have that abundance in your life. Definitely, there is some energy that has caused you to feel as though you are less than. But this is time for you to shine, for you to take that leap of faith forward, to trust in the universe, to catch you when you fall, right? To allow you to rise back up, to feel that passion for, get, for life once again. And that is so fitting for that shine card. And world, definitely time to start a new cycle and move out of this old one, cutting these ties releasing, doing whatever it is that you need to do to release. Have that courage, right? To heal your heart. Allow yourself to rise out of those ashes. Let it burn, just like I said. <laughs> That's your song, Usher, let it burn. With the phoenix rising, rising from the ashes, you gotta let it burn, baby. So perhaps you need to write it all out, read it, let the emotions out and burn that paper. Let it burn, baby. Start that new cycle because you are ready. Look. Look at that. Shine. With the fool and the world. With her arms out. That's total trust right there. And Spirit is asking you to trust. That's going to take care of everything. Heal your heart from all of that past heartbreak. And look at that. You're going to be so much happier once you get to the other side and see and know that you were never a victim. It just felt that way, you know. But once we get control of our heart once again and we get back into that understanding of where our true power lies, which is always within us, and what we draw from spirit, yeah, we can make some amazing things happen. Let me know how this is resonating with you, Virgo, down in the comments. Do you hit the like button for sure if any of this is resonating? 
And let's see what your advice is coming out from the Divine Doors message cards. Ooh. Ooh, look at that. Sunset energy. So it's like letting the sun go down on something. Again, that burn, baby, burn. And don't let the sun go down on me. Although I search myself, it's always someone else I see. Well, we don't want our sun, our, our, our energy, our life force to come from any other earthly being. If someone has that much power over us, or we feel like they do, definitely it is time to take our power back, right? It's time for us to smile and be happy once again, Virgo. Sunset says, Time here turns to release and unfurl. Old cords of pain fade as the sun's light burn. burns. Yes. Okay. So just like this was talking about, those old cords. All right. We got to let them burn. You know what I mean? We got to let that heartache and heartbreak go because all it was ever doing was causing us worry and pain and, you know, just constant concern about moving forward with, with someone. This is definitely saying that it's not time to move forward with this person. It's time to take that reality check. Maybe it never will be, you know? Jude Song, your person's name could be Jude. Hey Jude, don't make it bad. How interesting that you're getting so many songs coming out <laughs> all right so it says a reminder for even the most the most hopeless of lost cases you can find peace within the strangest of places all right this is very fitting you know maybe you need to just go somewhere like a spiritual place or something of that nature but in the strangest places, you can find that peace that you're looking for. So again, a reminder for even the most hopeless of lost cases. Hopeless of lost cases. You can find peace within the strangest of places. So I feel like that's going to happen for you within this next month. You are going to be able to cut those cords and be able to really start to rise, feel your energy rise, and not feel in that depressed, down in a hole. Now you're going to have me singing Alice in Chains, down in a hole, feeling so small, I'd like to fly, but my wings have been so they die. We don't want to die, we're not dead yet. The owl is saying, I see through, you know, this protection you're trying to put up around yourself. And this is really a need for you to just allow yourself to heal from whatever has already passed and is no longer here is what this feels like. And allow yourself to not allow, you know, keep blocking yourself from your own blessings, from your own greatness, you know, by being caught up in this person that may have really hurt you or this lover, you know? Time to laugh it off. <laughs> Playfulness says, laughter is the best therapy. Have some fun together and remember, love is the greatest healer. For sure. So definitely take some time to watch some comedy. Whatever helps you to feel in that more lighthearted energy. Whatever gets your chakras balanced, alright? Because this is what it's all about. Crossing that rainbow bridge healing our heart, relieving ourselves of that pain while we're in the physical presence of our energy because this is where it's the hardest to do it. But hey, if you can become a master of getting over shit while you're still in a physical body, that is some freaking mastery right there, right? All right, so there is nothing stopping you. The path is clear if you want it to be. What are you ready for, Virgo? Are you ready? To offer yourself that olive branch perhaps you may not always understand why certain things happen however there is always a higher purpose for the events of your life and through turmoil 
a blessing will soon be revealed. So stay in that positive energy because you uh, can't get the gold at the end of the rainbow if you don't stay in that good energy. So find whatever you need to do to keep you in that lighthearted energy because, hey, you don't want to block your blessings for sure. All right, Empress? And right here, we need to be real, especially in week three. It's saying you could absolutely be doing that, blocking your blessings and everything that, you know, spirit wants to bring forth for you because you've suffered long enough, you know? So let's learn from those lessons, shall we? Are you ready to get your question answered, dear Virgo? I love you so much. All right, let's do it in three, two, one. All right, and the answer is no, not today, my friends. All right, I hope that was the answer that you needed. Virgo, stay strong, and remember, rise out of that ashes. Let it burn, baby. You gotta let it burn. Have that courage. I know you are courageous, my dear Virgos. Stay amazing. Hit the like button, subscribe, and bell notifications. See you soon. Bye for now.